look, it's my name. This is my street. All right, let's hike. All right, what's up? We're back out here. Today is Tuesday, May 17th. It's day 86. I just got dropped back off uh, 10 miles ahead of Front Royal where I started my slack pack yesterday. And I've got my full pack back on and we're going northbound. I don't know why my pack feels so heavy today. Like, I don't know what would change or maybe I just forgot what it feels like since I've sort of been taking a little break for a few days, but uh, yeah, I don't even have three full days of food in here and it's feeling a little heavy. And I'm like, what? Um, but anyways, we're doing 15 and a half miles today to uh, Rod Hollow Shelter. That's the goal. Um, it's a little after 10 o'clock in the morning. Funny enough, when I got dropped off, there was a family that had just arrived at the parking lot with Trail Magic and they had all kinds of stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just had a huge breakfast at the Stumble Inn and I'm fully stocked up, so I don't need anything. So I didn't take anything, but I still thanked them and hopefully there'll be more hikers coming through today who can take advantage of that. But uh, shout out to David and Stumbles who run the Stumble Inn. Um, I spent a total of three nights there that one night before trail days last week and then the past couple of nights I've been there. And it's honestly a wonderful stay. Like I said before, the vegan breakfast is amazing, but also so is the carnivore breakfast both so good and uh david was nice enough to comp me for one night because he said he just enjoyed my company enjoyed my conversation and likewise so thank you david thank you all for having me but uh it's time to keep moving so 15 and a half today Shouldn't be too difficult. And I gotta get back into hiking shape because I feel like my body thinks that we aren't still doing this, but we are. <laughs> All right, see you on a bit. So as I inch closer to Harper's Ferry and Maryland, I've been thinking about this challenge that a lot of AT through hikers uh, talk about and like to try. It's called the four state challenge where basically hikers will start at the Virginia, West Virginia state line and hike all the way through Maryland and up into Pennsylvania within a 24 hour period. So essentially, you would be touching four states in 24 hours. And the total distance is about 44 miles. Um, I know several people who are ahead of me who have already done it. I know hikers from previous years who have either done it or attempted it. And initially, I was never interested in that challenge at all because I just don't wanna do something like that. I don't wanna fly through any state, really. I'm trying to soak up all of it and just appreciate it. And Maryland is my home state, how could I fly through that? But at the same time, as I've been inching closer to Harper's Ferry and Maryland, 
the idea sort of intrigues me a bit and I've been questioning, could I actually do it? Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, I think I could if I really wanted to, but uh, I've been plagued with too many minor injuries throughout this entire hike. I've still got this shin situation that isn't fully taken care of. And, you know, I'm just happy that I've made it this far and I'm almost at a thousand miles, but it hasn't been an easy thousand miles by a long shot because of all of these little injuries and stuff like that. And the last thing that I would wanna do is take myself off trail with a hike ending injury just to say that I did 40 something miles in a day. So I thought about it briefly. I asked my Instagram followers what they thought. A lot of people said I should just go ahead and try it because YOLO and I was kind of feeling that for a minute, but in thinking about it more, I would much rather complete this hike with as few injuries as possible going forward as opposed to potentially making one of these minor injuries a lot worse in just one day. Um, so yeah, I thought about it, decided that's probably not the challenge for me. Honestly, I don't know if any of these challenges are for me. <laughs> There's the half gallon ice cream challenge coming up in Pennsylvania. Don't really know if I'm gonna do that. Um, and I don't really have to do anything like, I can make this hike whatever I want it to be. And I've been doing that so far. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. Harper's Ferry is just a few days away. And I'm going to be spending the weekend there to see family and friends. So yeah, it's probably not a good idea to attempt a four stage challenge. <laughs> Oh my God, look who I just found. <laughs> it's my trail mom, Odie. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> we haven't seen each other since right before, what's that park called? It Grayson was Highlands. Miles. That Grayson is crazy. Miles. That was 400 miles ago or over 400 <laughs> miles ago. <laughs> yeah. trail is a crazy place. I didn't know if I was ever going to see you again. I know. I was thinking about this guy. <laughs> comes up the trail. I found my trail mom <laughs> a few days before I see my real mom. So look at that. Yeah. Hey mom. So it's one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm just stopping for a little lunch break. Um, I've done probably about seven miles so far today and I have another eight and a half to go. So uh, it's a pretty easy day, just keeping it light, not doing too much, not working too hard or stressing about anything. And I'm just enjoying being out here and being able to just vibe out. But uh, I was gonna go down to Whiskey Hollow Shelter, but as you can see, it's more than a quarter of a mile off the trail and I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just gonna sit here on this little tree stump and eat my little snacks and uh, 
since we're at Whiskey Hollow Shelter, I figured I would take a little swig of some whiskey. <laughs> this was left over from trail days and I decided just to keep carrying it in case I wanted to wet the whistle a little bit. So with today being a mild day, why not? Okay, this section of trail could use a little trim. Yeah, you know, like all these branches and stuff just hanging down over the trail and I gotta keep ducking and brushing past stuff. Okay. It's honestly a little annoying, but uh, I guess it's not the worst for the most part. Pretty maintained, but it could just be a little more maintained. <laughs> Let me stop complaining. Welcome to Sky Meadows State Park. I didn't even know this was here. No overnight camping except at the park shelter. Got it, ma'am. Hmm, to view or not to view? Point four off trail is a long way. Will it be worth it? Or should I just keep going? Don't know. I know y'all probably can't see this, but if you look way off into the distance, like as far back as you can sort of see shadows, there is a very faint Washington DC skyline. And I think that is so cool. Shout out to the trail magic. Thanks to whoever left these. Definitely grabbing me a Gatorade. Or as my grandmother used to call these, a gator aider. <laughs> We've arrived at the shelter. Yay, the day is done. 15 and a half miles. Uh, yeah, let's go down and get settled and uh, get something to eat and uh, chill out until bedtime. What's up, people? Today's Wednesday, May 18th, and it's day 87. I am just leaving Rod Hollow Shelter, and uh, today's gonna be an interesting day. I'm only doing about 10 miles today to get to Bears Den Hostel. And uh, you would think that if I'm only doing 10 miles, that that would make today 
a pretty easy day, but uh, the jury is still out on that. <laughs> um, so today we will be entering a part of the trail known as the roller coaster. And it is widely talked about <laughs> throughout this Virginia section. Basically what it is, is a series of ups and downs, just back to back to back to back for like 14 miles straight. And uh, although they're not big ups and downs, from what I've been told, they are pretty steep and annoying. So, uh, we will have to see how that goes. <laughs> I think I should be entering the beginning of the roller coaster in the next, like, half of a mile. So, uh, I guess I'll be getting warmed up pretty quick today. Um, it did get a little chilly last night and this morning we were all in our puffies. Uh, but the sun is out and it's starting to warm up pretty quick. So, um, so yeah, let's uh, see how the day goes. I'm excited that it's a short day for me mileage wise. Though at the same time, it can be a little discouraging that I'm not doing like bigger mile days. Um, you know, not to like compare myself to anyone else, but at this point I'm just getting passed by everybody and people who started their hikes well after me. And that's cool. It's like they're doing their thing. I'm doing mine. But, uh, you know, I'm slowing down for a reason so that I can see friends and family this weekend. And, uh, you know, I'm hiking my own hike, doing my own thing and just being in this experience. So, uh, yeah, last one to Katahdin and wins, I suppose. <laughs> All right, here we go. Basically Virginia's grand finale. The next 14 miles are nothing but short, steep ups and downs. Oy vey. Okay, so real quick, it's time for another native land acknowledgement. Shout out to the Shawandasi Tula Manahoac and Massawomack tribes. Y'all make sure y'all give thanks and acknowledgement to those who cultivated these lands. All right, hold up one second. I gotta show y'all something, okay? You watching? You paying attention? All right, look at this. Pow. We walked a thousand miles. Oh, the first thousand. Look at that. We did it. <laughs> With all of my injuries, all of my frustrations, all of my jokes, and just all the nonsense that I post, we still hiked a thousand miles. Go me, go me, yay me. Oh my God, I can't believe I that up. Damn, yay a thousand. This is so chaotic. <laughs>
Shout out to Nate El Chapo Loftus and my dear friend, Chris Center. We just walked a thousand miles. And I know y'all did it with me. Gone too soon, but I know the both of you have been here this whole time. And please don't go nowhere because we aren't finished yet. Still have 1,194.3 more miles to go. So just uh, stick with me, <laughs> keep me safe, watch out for me, pray for me, <laughs> heal my bones <laughs> so that we can make it the whole way. Thank you. Okay, so the good news is I'm only four miles away from Bears Den Hostel where I'm stopping for the day. The bad news is in order to get there, I gotta go up this. And it is a lot steeper than it looks. This roller coaster is kicking my ass. Ooh. Oh my God. I want y'all to know something about me. Yes, I am a theme park and roller coaster enthusiast, but I am not having fun on this ride. Ooh, Jesus. In the words of Carisha, I don't like that. And if you don't know who Carisha is, I don't know what to tell you. Oh my God, this is hard. Yeah, these climbs are short, but they're steep and they just come back to back to back to back to back. Ah, uh, oh my God. I'm so glad I'm doing just a shorter 10 mile day. So I'll actually break up this 14 mile stretch into two days. Ah, uh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I keep filming these uphill sections so y'all can experience my pain and suffering a little bit. <laughs> uh, it is steeper than what the video is able to depict. And y'all been seeing all them rocks and stuff, which makes it very uncomfortable. At least it's not super hot. Uh, this is the last climb up to Bears Den Hostel, so I should be less than a mile away at this point. Whew. And I'm not even doing the entire roller coaster section today. I'll still have like four more miles to do tomorrow. So I'm not out of the woods just yet. Amen. Our short day is done. The grounds here are quite beautiful.
Okay, so, uh, slight change in plans. I made it up to Bear's Den, sort of got inside, sat down, looked at my watch and said, huh, it's only 2.30. And the way that Bear's Den sort of operates is that they're closed for most of the day and the actual lodge and the little camp store that they have with food and stuff doesn't open until 5 p.m. And I was like, am I really gonna sit here until 5 p.m.? I mean, I barely did 10 miles today and I'm still feeling pretty good. So I decided to look at the map, see if there are any other like places to stop just a little bit further ahead. And so I saw this Blackburn Trail Center and it's eight and a, mi eight and a half miles up ahead. So I was like, maybe I'll just hike there and just make it more of an 18, 19 mile day. Um, so yeah, I decided to pick up my stuff and hike back out. Um, I did empty out my trash and I grabbed a soda out of the fridge, which they say you can grab a soda, just leave the money for it. So I left the money and we're gonna do another eight and a half miles. We're gonna finish the roller coaster today. And yeah. Um, doing a bigger day today will make tomorrow a lot easier. So I have a friend, her name is Laura, who lives just outside of Harper's Ferry with her partner. And back when I started my hike, she sent me a message and said, hey, when you get close to this area, let me know. We have a guest room that you can totally stay in. So uh, since I'm like taking my time and slowing down to try to get to Harbors Ferry this weekend, I decided that I would uh, crash at their place tomorrow night. So uh, from that Bears Den hostel, I would have had a 14 and a half mile hike out tomorrow morning or tomorrow to get to Keys Gap where she's gonna pick me up. But uh, I figured why not make tomorrow an easier day and whatever 14 minus 8 is what is that six so i pretty much have like a six mile hike tomorrow and i think tomorrow she is going to take me to like an urgent care or something so that i can get my shins checked out and i was asking her about it and i was like do you think they might give me some like cortisone injections and she's like uh oh, those are given out really sparingly these days i don't really know and i was just like well you know i don't really want to take two weeks off trail to heal up i was really just hoping to find some sort of a quick fix so that i can keep going and finish this up in a couple months and then when this hike is over i'll rest and she was like, oh, you know, well, there are some other things that might be able to help you. So uh, I'll talk to her tomorrow and we'll see what the doctor says. So yeah, eight and a half more miles today. And we're gonna finish up this roller coaster ride because I'm ready to get off now. Okay, so I just want to show y'all this real quick. You see how this little piece of land looks different from all the rest of this? It's because people try to take shortcuts rather than just walking literally five extra feet to follow the trail, they'll take a little shortcut. And what that does is destroys whatever was growing 
in this area because once one person does it, people start to follow them. And then you have something like this. So y'all, please just stay on trail. It really took nothing for me to walk right around here to where I'm standing. It's literally the most unnecessary thing. I was really starting to complain about this roller coaster section and I didn't even realize the state line was coming up. Hello to state number five, West Virginia. Although I don't think we're really in West Virginia, I think we're just sort of hugging the state line until we go into Harper's Ferry. But either way, five states, let's get it. So we have just a little more than a mile left of this roller coaster section. And I'm so sick of it. I can't wait to be done. It's so annoying, but uh, it's a nice little view. We are finished with the roller coaster. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, that <laughs> sucked. That was so annoying. <laughs> well, at first, it wasn't so bad, like those first 10 miles to Bear's Den, but those last four miles after that were so nasty and so rude. I hated it, oh my God the rocks, the steepness, just absolutely dreadful. But now I'm done and I gave it a mean middle finger. <laughs> I ain't never doing that again. And uh, yeah, just three miles to the campsite for the night. And on the way up, I ran into this guy named Russ trail named Rusty. I haven't seen him really since like before the Smoky Mountains. I think that's where we first uh, encountered each other. And then I think maybe I saw him one more time after that, but I can't remember where. But uh, ran into him again. Um, he let me know that he's going to be in Harper's Ferry this weekend. And he has some friends coming out and they're going to do some river tubing on Saturday. So he said that I'm welcome to join them. And I just might, even though I have some friends coming up this weekend, I need to figure out who might be coming up on Saturday and tell them possibly bring something to get wet. <laughs> Cause I'm down to jump in the river. And uh, it just sounds like a fun time. And I've been looking for a fun time. Um, he also offered to split a room in Harper's Ferry because the options aren't looking too great and they're looking a little expensive. So I'm totally down for that. And y'all know I've been waiting to find somebody to split a room with. Um, he's gonna hike out on Sunday and I haven't decided if I'm gonna leave Sunday or Monday. I might leave late on Sunday just to save some money. And I know there's a hostel not too far north of Harper's Ferry that I could probably stay there for a little cheaper. But uh, yeah, I might try to see if I can, you know, hang with him for a while. He seems pretty cool. And always friendly whenever we uh, encounter each other on trail. So that's what I'm looking for. And I don't really know if I'll be catching up to Batona, Leapfrog, or the Colt anytime soon because I think pretty much all of them did the four state challenge. So they're in Pennsylvania and I'm still here in Virginia. Well, Virginia, West Virginia, but we'll see maybe in a few weeks if I can pick up the pace again after Harper's Ferry, then it's always a possibility, but we'll just see what happens. So we're here at Blackburn Trail Center. So that puts me at a little more than 18 miles on the day. 
thought I was only gonna do 10 today, but decided to do a little more. So there's the bunkhouse over there where I'm gonna be sleeping tonight. And they give hikers access to this little patio where I can sort of hang out and I'm going to charge up my electronics. All right, good morning. Today is Thursday, May 19th. It is day 88. Um, it rained for a good portion of the night. So I was really glad to be inside the bunkhouse where I stayed nice and dry. I wasn't expecting it to rain. I didn't, I didn't check any weather reports and I didn't remember seeing anything about rain this week, so. So glad all my stuff is dry today. Um, so at this point, I'm just about 12 miles outside of Harper's Ferry. But because I told all my friends and family that I wouldn't be there until tomorrow, I'm going to have to split these 12 miles up into two days because from what I hear, Harper's Ferry is pretty pricey. So, uh, actually, let's check out this view real quick. See, it's probably not going to be a view of anything. But, uh, yeah, today I'm only doing six miles to get to Keys Gap. And my friend Laura is going to pick me up there. And I'm going to be staying at her place with her and her partner tonight. Um, she lives just south of Harper's Ferry, so super close. And she also offered to take me to a doctor today to get my shins checked out, so we'll finally get that done. Yeah, there's no view at all, look at this. Uh, so yeah, I told her I would get to Keys Gap around 10 o'clock this morning. So uh, it's about eight o'clock now and I have six miles to do. And it's pretty much um, flat and then going down into Keys Gap. So it should be pretty easy. I should be able to make it there in a couple hours. So uh, I will report later. I'm actually really excited to spend the weekend in Harper's Ferry. I think it is going to be a really fun time because of the people who I've been running into during this stretch. Um, I told y'all yesterday I ran into the guy Russ, AKA Rusty, and he was like, yo, let's split a room. So I think we're gonna do that. And he also invited me to join him and his friends uh, for a little river tubing action because uh, the forecast is saying that it's supposed to be sunny and in the 80s and 90s this weekend. So it's really gonna feel like summertime. And I've been wanting to do just some spontaneous, just fun stuff 
but haven't really had anybody to share those types of experiences with. So I think I might be going river tubing with him and his friends. Um, I also met a couple of section hikers back in Front Royal, Bo and Moonbeam. They're going to be in Harper's Ferry this weekend hanging out, and this is actually the end of their section hike. So they're basically just going to be sitting in town until it's time for them to catch their train back home. So I'll probably hang out with them, grab a few drinks. They might come tubing with us too. And then back at the last uh, bunkhouse at Blackburn, I met this guy and his name is Tubal. Um, he started around the same time that I did, probably a few days after me in Georgia. And <laughs> he's moving a little slower like I am. And he was pretty much expressing some of the same things that I've been expressing where he's sort of fallen into these groups of older, retired guys and hasn't really met a whole lot of people his own age. Pretty much same story with me. And he's pretty much been hiking on his own because he's not hiking at the same pace as a lot of other people who started with us. <laughs> I told y'all, it's something about this like early February group or like people who start in February where they just like don't want to get caught up in the bubble and they're so hyper focused on like tackling miles and I'm like can we do something fun can we be a little spontaneous like take a random zero and check out something cool in one of these trail towns but really no one has been doing that except for this tramley that I just sort of came across at trail days the cult they seem pretty cool, but at the same time, they're all the way in Pennsylvania at this point, and I'm still not even in Maryland yet, so I really don't know if or when I would ever catch them. <laughs> but, like, these are my kind of people, the kind of pe people who like to have a good time, who don't take this too serious, who aren't just about, like, getting to Maine, because then when you get to Maine, then what? You go home and the adventure's over. Like, let's really make it an adventure and a fun time. So it seems like I'm finally starting to meet some people who I can have a little bit of fun with and just like kick it. So I'm excited about that. And I'm excited to see my family and friends this weekend. That's gonna be so great and so refreshing. Um, I also have a couple more days off to rest the shins and the body and then we'll keep going. Finish up the second leg of this trip, even though I'm not halfway just yet, but I'm pretty close. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Hopefully things start to get a little more fun out here. Have you ever seen such a beautifully crafted spider web in your life? Like, look at how perfect that is. Oh my gosh. Man, I'm just glad I'm not walking into it today. All right, quick question. Have y'all ever been a part of a group conversation and you just notice one person who wants to be included in the conversation so bad that they always feel like they have to input something after every single person speaks and usually whatever they're contributing to the conversation really isn't adding any value to the conversation like that shit was happening last night at 
uh, uh, Blackburn Trail Center. It was this one dude, and I'm not gonna say who he is. He's actually a pretty cool, pretty cool guy with like really good intentions. Uh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't even be like shading him like this, but it was just, <laughs> I was just sitting there noticing like everybody sitting at the picnic table making their dinners and we're all just having conversations. And you know, if, if I don't really have anything to say, I'm gonna just be quiet and listen to the conversation. Like I don't need to talk, but it was, it's just, it felt to me like he just wanted to be involved in the conversation so bad that any chance he got, he was just throwing out some tidbit about whatever. Sometimes it was actually related to the conversation and sometimes it wasn't at all. And you know, it'd be like a conversation is just flowing, but then there's one person who, whenever they chime in, they gotta make everything super long-winded and they gotta give you this whole roundabout story just to make like a point that takes literally two seconds. And I was just sitting there like, girl, <laughs> I need you to relax. <laughs> like, it's okay, sweetheart. We see you, we know you're here. Like, <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> Yo, I was like, I swear, I feel like I'm the only person who like thinks the way that I do when I'm around other people, specifically like out here on trail. Like I just be sitting there like, uh, are we serious? Like, is this happening right now? <laughs> but you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna just be a bitch. So I'm not gonna be like, hey, can you like stop talking please? <laughs> You know, I was just sitting there, just listening. But I wonder if I was the only one who was thinking that, because I swear it was like, <laughs> as soon as this one person would start talking, everybody would stop. And we would just sit there and listen to this like long-winded story about nothing, or about shit that we didn't really need to hear about. And I was getting a little agitated. <laughs> shit, I feel like I'm always getting a little agitated. Especially this week after like a bunch of black people then got killed and a bunch of Asian women that got attacked and I'm just sitting around, same looking people. I'd be like, yo, back up, please. <laughs> but no, 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 everybody's been pretty cool. Everybody's been pretty chill. Ain't nobody talking about shit, but it's been cool. So long, Virginia. And hello, West Virginia. Literally right across the street. How cool is that? I don't know. Say it again, you're breaking up. Did I? <gasps> Wait. Wait, talk to my doctor on Saturday morning. All right, so I made it to Keys Gap right on time for my friend Laura to pick me up. And our first stop is the Stony Brook Farm Market and Deli to get some food. Apparently this place is run by the 12 tribes, which is apparently a cult or something like that. I'm not getting sucked into that though. So we're just gonna grab some food and, girl, how rude, why you pull up in the spot when you see I'm recording? Oh, <laughs> looks like I'm just playing. Let's eat. Hey y'all. Um, okay, so I am here at my friend Laura's house. Um, she had to go into town for a meeting and her partner Jim is still at work. So I'm just here chilling. I'm about to take a shower and I'm gonna do laundry and just relax for the rest of the day. It's uh, right around 12 noon. So I have pretty much the entire rest of the day, the day to chill out. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go to a winery later. So I'm really excited about that. And then this weekend in Harper's Ferry is gonna be so much fun. So I can't wait to hike in tomorrow, see all my family and friends. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty nice. Laura and Jim, y'all have a really nice place here. Thank you for taking me in and allowing me to stay. I really appreciate it.
Today's turning out to be a pretty good day. And this is what I'm talking about. Fun little paddle session. There goes Laura. The current is a little strong today, so I hope <laughs> she doesn't have any problems getting back, but she should be all right. This is so needed after hiking a thousand miles. This feels wonderful. Um, today was pretty amazing. Laura has been wonderful and her husband, or I was about to say husband, her partner, Jim. So kind of them to take me in for the night. Um, so we went to a winery, we went paddle boarding, which I love. Um, went to get something to eat, smashed some wings, brought some home, gonna smash some after this bath. And uh, yeah, just chilling for the rest of the night. Tomorrow I've got a six and a half mile hike into Harper's Ferry and I have a whole team of friends and family ready to greet me when I get there. So I'm excited about that. Um, Rusty texted me to let me know that he already confirmed a room for tomorrow and Saturday night. So we've got that squared away. Um, I'll see him tomorrow and, uh, yeah, I'm ready for a fun weekend in Harbors Ferry. So, uh, let's do it. Um, this is probably going to do it for today. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, or I guess it's almost good afternoon. It is 11.30 a.m. Uh, Friday, May 20th, day 89. I just got dropped back off at Keys Gap. Thank you so much to Lara and her partner, Jim, for taking me in for the night. Uh, we had so much fun, Laura and I, uh, paddling on the river yesterday, and uh, we went to a winery and went and got some wings, and uh, yeah, now I am making my way into Harper's Ferry today. I only have six miles to do, so it's going to be another short, easy day, and I'm really excited because... I think I probably have a rather large group of family and friends who are going to be in Harper's Ferry waiting to greet me as I hike in. So I'm excited about that. And uh, I'm going to be spending the weekend here. The weather is supposed to be really nice. So probably going to be tubing on the river tomorrow and hitting up breweries. And just hanging out. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's make it happen. Harper's Ferry, the spiritual halfway point on the trail. Here I come. Oh, and I'm annoyed because I lost my sunglasses yesterday. I think maybe I left them in Laura's car and she went to work this morning. So I have no idea where they are. And I'm upset. But I guess. I get to buy a new pair and hopefully I can find a pair that goes with my outfit. <laughs> so, 
All right, let me stop talking. Let's get to walking. So I still have about four and a half miles to hike into town. And I have to stop at the ATC headquarters to get my photo taken. But uh, it's so funny because I'm out here trying to coordinate with all of my family and friends who are driving out and I'm trying to tell them all <laughs> where to meet so everybody can be in one place. And I still <laughs> have to walk and I'm stepping on all these rocks and <laughs> twisting my ankle left and right because <laughs> I'm on my phone and not paying attention. Uh, this will be good though. I'm excited. I'm trying to hike a little fast, but not too fast because I want to give people time to get there and figure everything out. I um, mean, I might be a few extra minutes at the ATC headquarters just because I don't know what that process is like and I might end up talking to some of them. But uh, yeah, Harper's Ferry, here comes a bad bitch. <laughs> Ah, uh, period. I just want to take this opportunity real quick to give a special shout out to Karima, trail name Honey. Um, now she is a black woman through hiking the AT this year. She started well after me, so she's quite a ways behind me and I'm not sure if we will ever meet up on trail, but uh, she is attempting a zero waste Appalachian trail through hike this year. And I think that is commendable that she cares enough about the planet to attempt something like that. Through hiking is hard enough as it is as y'all probably seen from all of my vlogs. <laughs> and uh, to do it without leaving any waste, it almost sounds impossible. And I know a lot of people have commented on the topic because she is also vlogging for the trek this year. So y'all should definitely go check out some of her videos on the Trek's YouTube page. But uh, yeah, a lot of people have been sort of ragging on her, talking about, oh, it's impossible. How is she doing X, Y, Z? And you know, all I'm gonna do is support her. She's a black woman out on trail and she's doing something to promote a positive message, similar to what I'm trying to do. So all I have for her is love and support. And I hope that she is successful um so yeah i just wanted to give a shout out to her hi honey i don't know if you'll ever see this or if you'll ever know who i am but i've heard of you so i just wanted to say hey and excellent job so far i'm extremely proud and good luck to you um so yeah shout out to anybody who is trying to do more for other people and the planet. You know, I've mentioned a few times how I feel like a lot of people just come out here just for their own personal reasons, personal gain. And to take something like a through hike, which could be looked at as being so self-centered and make it about more than yourself, to do something that's going to hopefully impact other people in a positive way. That is something special to me. And, you know, I think the through hiking community could do a lot more. I really do. And that's speaking as someone who has observed the through hiking community for several years before I even came out here to be a part of it myself. So, I don't know. I hope people are inspired by the things that she's doing. 
I hope people can be inspired by the things that I'm doing and the things that I'm saying and fighting for. And I just hope as a whole that we can all be better. That's why I speak about things. That's why I get so passionate about things. And that's why I feel things the way that I do. I just want, I want us all to be better and to do better. And it takes a collaborative effort. I can't do it by myself. Honey can't do it by herself. The Darwins, the Dixies, they can't do it by themselves. It takes all of us. So I hope, I hope people can take something from that. Yeah, that's all. All right, so I just stopped by the ATC headquarters to get my photo taken for the through hiker logbook. I came in at number 290. And I remember when I got my tag back at Amicalola in Georgia, I was number 348 going northbound. So looks like I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> and today is May. 20th. I started on February 20th, so it's pretty much taken me three months exactly to get to this point. Um, this isn't quite the halfway point. That's in Pennsylvania, but everyone recognizes Harper's Ferry as the spiritual halfway point because those who make it here have a pretty good chance of making it all the way to Maine. And I've been saying we was doing that from jump, so it ain't no surprise, to be honest. I mean, look at the material. My people came to see me. <laughs> Look who came to meet me in Harper's Ferry. We got the whole crew here. <laughs> My parents, we got friends, hey. best friends, grandparents, <laughs> more friends. Thank y'all so much for coming out to see me. Of course. Halfway done, Justin. Halfway done. Period. <laughs> New shoes. Okay. How do you feel about Justin's journey? I am so proud of Justin mm -hmm. being the first friend and to <laughs> hike the Appalachian Trail. I am so very proud of Justin and I send him my prayers and my blessings, like everything goes forward. How do you feel? I don't. <laughs> Excited, proud, can't wait to see him at the end. Okay. How do the rents feel? The parents. The rents. The rents are parents. The parents. The parents. I'm actually excited for them. But I'm ready for you to come home. Don't tell them though. I'm glad it's not costing me a dime. 
<laughs> How do you feel? How do you feel? feel? Like you need to get yourself together and come on home. <laughs> <laughs> In a couple of months, he'll be back home. Who told you that he did? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you tell you that? Earlier. <laughs> oh, well, I got an answer. Okay. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel this is an awesome occasion. I'm glad all of us are here. I know God has kept Justin thus far. Amen. And he's going to continue to keep him. Amen. I'm proud of him, and I'm looking forward to the Inwood Trail when all of us are up in the air on a flight. Yes. All the way up to Maine. <laughs> All of this is going on the YouTube. I've been recording. Today. How do you feel about Justin's journey? I feel very proud of my friend for having the courage to take on this journey. I watch his vlogs, I watch his IGs. I also read the comments, <laughs> so keep it cute. <laughs> but I'm just really proud of Justin that he's made it halfway and I'm happy that we can kind of see him on the journey. And I'll be happy when we in Maine, eating lobster, lobster. popping champagne. <laughs> Yay! Ladies, <laughs> how are you guys feeling about Justin and his journey? We're so proud, we're so happy. We're, we love being here supporting him. I feel like it's just really an honor to get to know the folks who love Justin. Yeah. We are very relatively new friends. Y'all are old friends. It really is an honor to know the people that like made him who he is. And just like being here supporting him is really nice. And like it's an honor to be here. It definitely was a nice afternoon. It was. We love his mom. And dad. Yeah, we're yes. we're a fangirl. We're, family. we're yeah. Justin fangirls. I like that. Justin fangirls. We gotta get t shirts. Yeah, we need a cute name. Yeah. Yes. Okay, maybe Justin Hive. Oh my gosh. Justin J. Hive. J. Crew. J. Crew. <gasps> Hashtag J. Crew. Uh -huh. That's the move. That's a really good. Brand. That's what it is. <laughs> According to the new shoes and the insoles. I like that. <laughs> you heard it? You heard it? You sure the insoles? Yes. <laughs> We're going to be sure to say the insoles. The insoles. <laughs> They're going to be like, who's coming off the... Who? What? We're going to have a whole fan club of a bunch of women just standing there waiting for him at the end. They're going to be like, can we be his friend? <laughs> How you manage this? <laughs> Grandma said, I'm doing what I want. She thought you were taking a picture, not that. No, no, just video. Don't pay attention to me. <laughs> Mm. Cheeseburgers! <laughs> Chicken pox! Put some good money on Jerry. He got a nice smile up in there, brother. You you gonna see the dentist while you've been out here. Did I ask you how do you feel? Best friend, first one. What's up? I know the recording does I feel very proud. Mm -hmm. okay, I've loved watching his like evolution of him from the fashion to rock climbing to now being out in the wilderness. I don't know who would do that. Oh, and for the people in the comments. Girl made a similar comment. We watching y'all. Always watching, okay? <laughs> Always. Try Jesus. Don't try him though. <laughs> and if you didn't know, Jess is a celebrity. Look at, look at the camera crew. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> What a day today was. I literally had so much fun hiking into Harper's Ferry, seeing my family and friends. My parents came, my grandparents came, all my friends came. Man, that was wild. <laughs> They actually met me on the trail as I'm hiking into Harper's Ferry and they just started cheering as soon as they saw me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I loved that. I'm so glad I got to see them. I haven't seen any of them in three months. Uh, I mean, that was... I didn't need motivation to keep going because I was always going to do that, but that just gave me a little bit more. <laughs> Uh, we had a good time, got something to eat, 
had a few drinks and uh, yeah, they all went back home and I'm here in Harper's Ferry for at least another day, taking a zero tomorrow. Um, yeah, tomorrow should be fun too. A few of my friends are gonna come back and we're gonna go tubing and I have some other friends from Trail who are in town. So they were talking about tubing tomorrow. So should be a lituation. Ooh, I can't wait. But yeah, I'm so glad I made the decision to come out here and attempt this through hike. This is maybe the best thing I've ever decided to do in my life. And I've done a few things. <laughs> But yeah, I'm so happy I saw my people. It was so refreshing, so rejuvenating. I feel full, both from all the food I ate and from seeing just my people, my people. I've been missing my people. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm here at the Quality Inn Hotel now, splitting this room with Rusty. Um, I don't know where he is at the moment, but I'm here. I'm probably not going anywhere else today. Cause I'm tired. Uh, so yeah, this is going to do it for today. I'll see y'all tomorrow and hopefully we'll be having some fun. So uh, later.